Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for all of your previous likes, views, comments, suggestions, and subscriptions. I really, really appreciate it. We are absolutely smashing it out of the water at the moment, peeps. Nearly 8,300 subs, which is just... Every day I'm like, wow, that's, that's stupid. Uh, absolutely stupid. But today uh, we want to talk about honor. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Honor is something that happens or is a, a type of experience you can gain during Reign of Chaos. So Reign of Chaos is an event that happens usually, uh, I'm going to say within the first couple of months of a new state. Reign of Chaos, in my view, is the whole point of this game. Um, and Reign of Chaos involves many, many, many things. But what we're going to talk about is honor and how to uh, increase influence today. Now, I want to start by saying this is the first of two videos. Uh, so this first video will be me going, this is what I think, and I'm pretty sure I've got lots of things wrong. The second video will be where I have information from many other people. That means down in the comments, but also I have asked a few people that I know, a few cool peeps that I know that are playing, um, and I want them to give me some kind of input as well. And I'm gonna do a second video where we're gonna say, actually, this is a bit better and this is a bit smarter. But let's kind of go back to how it should work. Basically with Reign of Chaos, obviously, what you need to do is take tiles. We can see here blue tiles here. We take those tiles and by taking those tiles we gain influence. Um, and every bit of influence then adds to our honor scores and stuff and such and such and such. If we could see here, territory. Uh, this here is my influence value, 91,200. Um, and if I click on here, I have no rewards. But the higher I increase that, the actual more rewards I get and the more tiles I can then take. If we go and have a look at the rock main tasks, so that is in the castle view here, Reign of Chaos, the Reign of Chaos main tasks. See, if I can reach 10, 100, 105,000 influence value, uh, then I will get an expand plan and some honor points. So this is actually really important. This is something I actually really didn't think about for the first couple of seasons of Reign of Chaos is that actually influence is really good. And so what I want to talk about is how we get a little bit of influence, but how that increases honor as well. Getting influence is pretty easy. It is just taking more tiles. Okay, so just attacking more tiles, earning more tiles, all of that will increase your influence value. By doing that, you're gonna gain a lot more honor. Now, why do we need honor? We need honor because that gives us specializations. And this is the key. So we are in season one of Reign of Chaos at the moment, and specializations and increasing this is a really, really important thing. I hope I can get to level 20, maybe even level 22 by the end of this first season. So that'll be 22 out of 40 levels. It's a massively important thing. Um, and obviously this honor comes, as I said, from getting down my influence level up, completing the uh, rock tasks. So let's just go through all the ways you can increase honor. Uh, number one is obviously taking tiles. Each time you take a tile, you will get a little bit of honor. Uh, you can increase that by spending some money. If you spend money on... Where is it? Uh, we have to go back to this screen. Uh, sorry, one second. We have to go to Benefit Center. If you spend money on what's called... Uh, where is it? Imperial? Yes, Imperial Investment. Uh, if you spend money on here, you'll get one of these things. This is an honor bonus for 30 minutes. This will basically, every time you occupy a tile or uh, upgrade uh, one of your structures, you're going to get some more honor from that. That honor will then feed back into your specialization points, which I'm just going to go back and show you again, are just here. Yeah. Um, and we're not going to talk about how we use those points today. We're just going to talk about how we increase these ones. Another way to do that is obviously to increase any of the Reign of Chaos tasks. And obviously, as I said before, those tasks are back in here. So they have to be in Castle View screen, down in the bottom left. 
you have your main task, the early task, and then your reign of chaos task. Any of these things we can see here, this will give me 30, oh, so 300,000 honor points just to take a level 11 tile. Uh, this will give me 250,000 to get my influence level up. Upgrading my camp will give me 40,000 points. And learning a 13 specialization will give me 8,000 points. That's pretty crap. See, but you can see that occupying higher level tiles and increasing your influence level, which are both directly linked. So the more tiles you occupy, the higher influence value. Those two will give you the most amount of honor points. So that's what you should focus on massively at the start of any season of Reign of Chaos. Obviously, the Coalition Base Camp gives you massive things that you can actually take higher level tiles. That's how that works. And we'll do a video on what the Coalition coalition base camp actually does uh, later on in the season but these two are what I would honestly suggest you focus on if you need to increase your honor now number third way number third <laughs> the third way <laughs> number third where the hell did that come from that's not a thing how is that a thing the third way of increasing um, your honor points and my computer is making a lot of noise I've got to buy a new one Sorry, uh, but the third way of increasing your honor points is through special training. Now I have a video on special training. A lot of people probably have missed it. I made it quite a while ago. I might have to make a new one. But special training is where you place your troops to attack a tile that you own, and they do a special sort of training. We can see that here. But let's go and find our highest level tile. Now I already know where that is. It's over here, somewhere. Where is it? Wait a second, let's zoom out again. I missed that. Yeah, so our highest level tile at the moment is this level 10 tile. And you can see here we have a few things. Abandon, view, teleport, garrison. You also have strategy. By clicking on strategy, I can then get special training. Special training will give me honor and hero experience. Um, now, you can see here it's open. I can do it one time, three times, five times. I believe that... Well, actually, I don't know. I've actually spent a little bit of money at the moment, so I don't know if that's a thing that's opened up recently or that's a thing because I have certain, you know, benefits from spending a little bit of money. However, the, the fact stands that this is a very good way to get honor, yeah, to send your troops to do special training at your highest level tile as often as possible. You not only get honor, but you also get experience. And that is literally what I did just before this video. I sent all of my troops, this is why we're just here past level 13 and this is the well, it's a Saturday so this is the fifth day of Reign of Chaos Total War so this is the 12th 11th day of Reign of Chaos in total I'm up to level 13 I'm quite happy with that I probably could be maybe level 15 to 16 if I put a little bit more time into it but yeah I'm quite happy with this level uh, so special training is another way to earn honor points um, influence we've talked about before uh, obviously increasing your influence ranking will get you that and by to increase your influence ranking you must be attacking and occupying more tiles um, and then the only other way that I could think of is attacking the white king uh, so let's find a white king uh, there must be someone around like I saw like I saw no that's a savage giant the guy on the horse that's what we're looking for dude on the horse dude on the horse Man on a horse. Horseman. John Marsden. John Marsden? No, that's not that's not his name. I don't know. Wasn't that the Red Dead Redemption? Was it John Marsden? I have no idea. Where the hell is a white king? Okay, let's just scroll out a bit. Get to some empty space and find us a white king. Everything is really loud. What's up with my microphone? really loud in my ears um, there we go a white king so a white king will give you honor rewards you can see this is the one that he will give you 10,000 points of honor rewards uh, as an attack so that's always a good way of getting more honor now obviously we get honor because then we want to increase our specializations and our specializations are really important because they add so many buffs uh, to your reign of chaos campaign your rock campaign so 
it's really really important so as I said this is the first of two videos so this is Mr. Gill talks about uh, increasing honor the second video will be Mr. Gill actually learns about increasing honor as I said I've asked a few people they're gonna give me some feedback I want you guys to give me the feedback down below and what we're gonna come up with for the second video is a definitive this is exactly what you should do to maximize the honor in your campaign for any season of Reign of Chaos. Sounds like a plan? It sounds like a freaking awesome plan to me. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this little chat. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Sun's going down already. It's at 2.30. I think the sun goes down at like quarter past three now. <sighs> I love living in Sweden, but honestly, sometimes when it gets to this winter bit, it is hard to adjust quickly, you know? Just kind of go through. Ooh. And it hasn't stopped raining, and it's not like hard rain. I wouldn't mind like if it was just like, oh my God, it's a deluge of rain. Everybody's getting wet. Now it's just like, blah, 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 blah. You know, you walk outside and it's getting dripped on. It's like, well, oh, this is annoying. And puddles. The puddles, if the puddles are big, then you can jump in the puddles. But the puddles are tiny, you know, because it's just blip, blip, rain. Doesn't really work at all. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Bye.